Hello and welcome to my playthrough of Sonic 4 Episode 2. I'm playing this in co-op with Jimmy Kern who is Jimmy Lok 97 on YouTube. Okay, so yeah, we are starting off. We will not be seeing any cutscenes in this playthrough, mind it. And the first tech, Sylvania Castle Zone Act 1. Don't mind if I pronounced it wrongly, so yeah, okay. So yes, I'll be Sonic and she will be Tails. Um, two of us are on SSMB, so that's how we got to know and we will be playing this. We will be playing every level but the special stages in this playthrough. Yeah. So yes, that was your first sight of the Tails Copter combo. This. There are three combos. When, I, when you see them, yeah, I'll explain about them. We are that bubble and coming back future is only in the co-op mode, so yeah. Yeah, this is actually supposed to be the first time you use the Tails Copter combo when you play it on your first playthrough. But since we are not doing that, yeah. Yay, running from water from uh, uh, Hydro City. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the bubbles which were very annoying in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but now they are like homing attack chain keywords. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking there, I just spin dashed, so, okay, yes. The good thing is there's not as many speed boosters as Sonic 4 Episode 1, and yeah, uh, yeah, you would have seen just now that I called Tails by just, uh, by a push on button, yeah, that's the call button, it's the R2 button on the PS controller so yeah it just calls that person to ex exactly where you are it's like a come right here button yeah yeah so we just finished act one so yeah I will not be going super sonic either because I only have done until space so, so stage six well this is Jamie's footage so yeah And yes, Act 2, Sunken Rooms. Okay, the first part, okay, yeah, the first part, okay, uh, this is the rolling combo, yeah, this is one of the key combos and just, yeah, it's like a super spin dash, but not so super, I guess, yeah. I will not be going super sonic, by the way, in this playthrough. And yes, still skin swim and fly just like in Sonic 3 K. Ah, see, I called her again, I called her again, and now I go down again, I guess I'll call her again, see? And I call her again, yeah. I seriously don't know how to make some jokes in this playthrough because I don't know how to make fun of Sonic for episode 2, I guess. But yeah, that was my mistake. I don't know why I initiated it. I think I forgot the level layout just now there. There is post commentary, by the way, so I will not be able to remember everything. Just like how it is, and now Jimmy will fall. See, I told you. Okay. Yeah, she will not be commentating on this. Oh, and that's the countdown. Yeah, I don't like the countdown sound as much as as, as I like the one in Sonic Colors. I I think that's the best cover of that track. Yeah. And yeah, sorry for that pixelated quality then and now. Uh, I I will try my best to ask Jenny not to do that in part 2 but if it is in part 2 then hopefully part 3 will not have it yeah if it goes more than that I'm really sorry but I don't think it will happen and yeah that's the third combo is it yeah yeah third combo that is the I forgot is it the tail submarine yeah something like that oh yeah yay bubble coming attack chain again oh yeah back to the thing yeah, it's just basically the copter combo in water. They'll carry you when he's in water. So yeah, so he can like carry you into infinite times. Because the water is supporting their weight. While in the air, Tails has to carry the person. Tails should be lucky compared to Sonic 3 and K because Sonic was fatter then. So you'd have more trouble. Oh yeah, and there you just saw some lag. Okay. That lag is one of the worst problems of Sonic 4 Episode 2 score. Sometimes it's unplayable, but luckily since me and Jimmy are in the same nation, so 
yeah, we don't have that much lag. And again lag. Okay. So yeah, this third type of card here is like made for Sonic and not so much for Tails. And yes, we have cleared Act 2 as I went on talking about random stuff. So let's wait for this thing. She almost clicked Act 3. Oh, I mean, boss, yeah. This the, I think, my favorite looking level. But I don't really like the starting. I don't think they should ever start a level right in the water. That is, that is like the most scariest thing if you like go to the toilet break or something then yeah you got, it, It's just an instant death or something Actually this part you could easily like topple the thing by activating the rolling combo and then yeah Ah this is supposed to be the first part where you actually use the rolling combo but since I've already played through the game Other than special stage 7 just like I just hate the special stage. I'm not so good at special stage in the first place, but that's yeah. It's almost a nightmare. Okay, yeah, but uh, talking about the music. Generally the music in this game isn't bad, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. I like white parts the most I think if I'm yeah. This one is easily forgettable. Wait, let me try to. Okay, let me try to remember act once. I can't. Yeah. If you can, then I'm calling you a prodigy because all, even though I just saw it, I can easily forget it. Must be my brain or something. I'm not too old. Okay, now I forget it. Yeah. Yes, see, I called her again and that was just me screwing up. And screwing up, oh, no, not screwing up. Yes. That was us ah, screwing up again. And that was, I guess, me screwing up? No, no, no. None of us did up. Oh, yes, the roll. You can actually activate the roll, and it's kind of purposeful in this game. Compared to Sonic Episode 1 or Sonic Generations. Which I'm kind of happy of because in the 3DS version, Dims actually did a good job with the physics. So I think, yeah they actually know what they're doing with that now it's probably because of the fan feedback that sega got and yeah i just repeatedly got and that's the invisibility the music is straight from as sonic 5 episode 1 so yeah and that was me just failing you know actually i'm not that bad with sonic but i don't think i was at my best on that day uh, See, usually the ruling has purpose compared to Sonic Fire Episode 1. And yeah, by the way, since this is our first, uh, this is my first playthrough, and I think it's Jimmy's second or first, yeah, should be there. So please leave a comment in this video or her video, which is which is basically this video without commentary. So yeah, uh, give comments uh, and say what you think about. The commentary and the playthrough and all and if you want to give us some tips sure so yeah we will take that into consideration and i promise not to have that in by part three yeah i think tails can fly all like about 10 times without sonic and seven times with sonic i'm i'm sure that that's not the exact number but yeah Yeah, and then when he gets tired, he doesn't fall like a rock that he did in Sonic 06. He, yeah, there's gravity in this game. And that's a very nice part where you're actually supposed to use the Tails Copter combo according to the trailer. But yeah, we did not do that. And we have finished Act 3. That's Little Planet. Wait, that's the dead thing. Oh no. My god. It's Little Planet. Yeah, by the way, if you not played Sonic CD the HD version 
of yeah the PS3 port the 360 port yeah go try it out it's kind of good it links to this game which links to S4 F1 which links to Sony for wait yeah I already said that okay so yeah there was slight lag oh yeah there's also input lag it's not just the response lag but also wait are they the same thing wait no man forget it this is a good moment in this game look at this He almost told us like he was gonna give us one of those chase bosses or something. But he gives us something unique, which is good. Wait, no! It's a Cortic Ruin Zones boss! <gasps> no. Wait, what? See, yeah. It's something unique. And pop. Actually, yeah, so the thing has no like purpose, but yeah. It's just to show the power. Oh yeah, this part, yeah, the game actually, I'm not so sure if it expects you to kill Scopter or something, but I have seen the pigment come down before, but if you use kill Scopter this fight is a lot easier, I think, so yeah. And of course, the last part, you are supposed to use kill Scopter, so, uh -huh. So this is basically the X apparently if I'm not wrong. This yeah. He basically attacks using this four arms which were well, actually two then now they come here. Okay. And yeah, Eggman protects himself at times by shielding him using that power. Yeah, the leaves. The flower petals. I don't know what they are. I think they're flower petals. The machinery flower petals. And now he will strangle himself. Yeah, this part, if you do not attack him, he will use a laser which will fire, but like go in clockwise direction towards the screen. Yeah, I don't know how to explain that because I don't think you will see that in this playthrough. So, yeah, and yes, that's kind of an easy boss. You know, it's the first boss, I think it's okay. And yes, we have completed this part. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this part, and I shall see you again in the next part. Thank you, this is Fussy, and on behalf of Jimmy, bye.